Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Spore Let's Play series. Oh. And just as I get started, we get raided. Of course we do. Well, that one's already been dealt with. <laughs> and since, as we've already discovered from the previous episode, it turns out I'm a happy little band of friendly, you know, friendly, cute looking, majestic creatures are actually pretty badass. So, in the previous episode, I guess we figured that one out, and we had been mostly just, well, trying to burn up the travel stage and defend ourselves against a triple wave raiding camp, which normally is a bit too much to handle. In this case, but as a great big success, managed to defeat the Cyan tribe. And so just hopped in now then, it's a brand new morning, both in game and for myself. <laughs> nice new day, nice new morning. Currently expanding the tribe, getting all the new adults in and getting a whole bunch of food before I move on. Since, yeah, after the previous raid went so well, I do want to go full on aggressive. I finally want to try and actually, you know, wipe out all the other tribes in the tribal stage. I've not done it in such a long time. I actually cannot remember the consequence trait you get for it. In fact, let's find out. So what would I get for it then? I would get, uh, so if I look into aggressive, a gadget bomb. This ability causes damage to buildings and vehicles and can help capture cities. I'm never going to use that. I hate the idea of destroying buildings in the Civ stage. It's just, it's just not really useful. You have, you have to spend so much more money and in the Civ stage it all revolves around money. So you kind of like shoot yourself in the foot a little bit while you're conquering other cities, at least in my opinion. But in the space stage, oh wait, no, that's not right. Yes, yes, in the space stage, this ability gives you a discount on all combat tool trades. Well, that one could be good, actually. So, yeah, that could be decent then. But like I said, though, I've just not done it in so long. I kind of just want to check it out again. So, we're getting all of our food. I do want to go my previous theory, and that is to grab... Which one is it? Flaming Torches. Fantastic. It's the one I happen to have. And I may as well get some healing rods. I mean, considering that my creatures are able to CC the other tribe so effectively... And they're all stunned and sitting around. It seems like a good opportunity to heal a little bit. It would appear I am getting raided though. Who is raiding me this time? It is. It is Green Village. But that's okay though. I've got 9 out of 9. We are recuperated. And uh, I am actually going to vendor my maracas. There we go. Free up my guys. I'm going to bring them all to the center. So I've got a raid incoming, and we're going to go big, we should go full on out. Now, of course, because I've only got flaming torches, I don't have any other weapons. I can't equip anything else yet, but I can. Ha <laughs> ha! Attack the blue eyes white dragon tribe. Yeah, see, again, it, it just doesn't even fight back. It can't fight back. There's one more there as well. Let's go ahead and get half of you on that one. Half of you on that one. This is one thing I noticed I was doing very sloppily last time was not really directed. Oh, there's another one. Oh god, more tribes. Okay. So like I was saying, one thing I noticed I was doing very poorly last time was I wasn't actually directing individuals to attack. I was just kind of like, you know, blanket, like blanket orders. And that's not really ever good, is it? So if I could do this and just attack all of them individually, uh, I think that's everyone or you. One more. That should be everyone accounted for there. We do have one more guy here. These two here, in fact, just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Or sitting there, you know, uh, not being attacked, I should say. But that one just got wiped out. Go attack that one instead. You can attack that one instead. Hey, move. 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 All the way around. All the way around. And you can attack that one. He's got more HP. <laughs> minimal, minimal damage. The CC is ridiculous. I might not even need the healing rods, actually. Like, I guess this guy here, one of my guys did take a fair bit of damage. But that was it. And done. Raid averted. This has never been. Like, combat-wise, this has never been so easy. I feel... It, it feels like I'm cheating, man. But hey, it's modded. It's just modded small. <laughs> this is what happens when you get modded abilities. Like a crazy spider web. Damn. Right, so there we go then. That's everyone fully fed, fully healed up. We've got plenty of food. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, I'd say, yeah, the absolute majority of them all to get flaming torches. I will grab, mm, I'd say, one guy to get the healing rods. You never know. I might want it just in case. Oh, no, that's right. I forgot about this. My, oh, yeah, I lost all my little dragons and such, didn't I? No wonder why I've got no more eggs. No. Right. All of you guys can go to repair. And that's a little bit overkill that many, but you can all repair anyway. Ah, oh, damn it. I was just thinking to myself, like, how, hmm, you know, we should have more food than this. And it's because I don't actually have any more of my, uh, 
egg collectors, egg farmers, no! Okay, you can go over there and get some food. You can go tame one of the giant penguins. And, oh wait, is that the same guy? No, nope, that's the entire tribe, hold on. Let's try that one again. Okay, good, you're on your way, you're on your way, and you, sir, you can go tame. What could you go tame? We've got two tribes of penguins, don't we? Yeah, we do, actually. We've got a bunch of jumpies and some more jumpies. We've actually got two of the same species. Hmm. Why do they count as the same, then? Oh, but we also have that down there. A bunch of mojo ceratops. Fantastic. Well, then. Go ahead and wait a moment then to get our brand new domesticated animals and get a whole bunch more food. So we're certainly going to need it. There's something kind of funny about watching a giant uh, crystal golem being tamed by a little dog tree. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what just happened. He dropped the dog tree on the ground and the crystal elemental uh, accepted it. You know, as one casually does. Right, and there we go then. Give the game a quick little save. Egg is back on the menu, boys. Now then, how's the other tribes doing? We've got 9 out of 9, 9 out of 9, and 6 out of 6. Well, that is all not very nice, is it? I suppose Brown Village is only uh, dislikes us, whereas the other two hate us. Actually, I say that, it looks like Brown Village may be on the move anyway. Ah, but Brown Village is the one I didn't want to attack us. But I see you there, mate, Freaky Griffin. I see you. In fact, you're not getting a chance. Die. Oh, and I'm being raided. There we go. Raiders are actually on their way. I think it's Green Village again. Yeah, it does indeed look like that Green Village is on the way. The Blue-Eyed White Dragon once again. Okay, then. That will be our first target. God, they make the most unpleasant sounds. They really do. Right, then. There everyone goes. Go ahead and target that one. Let's target that. Oh, no. That one. They're all moving all over the place. Ah! They're killing my people, my bloody pets again! Stop! Get away from my pets. Get away from my domesticated egg layers. Let's see, we'll attack that one. Uh, you can attack that one. And I think that is everyone covered for. Meanwhile, our little healer. Our healer can heal you. This one here is definitely taking significantly more damage than the others. We've got another raid ahead of us. Oh dear. Uh, but we kind of already got everyone, like, <laughs> targeted. Heal! Okay, healer sucks. Mate, what are you doing? He's right there. Five health. Meanwhile, deselect everyone. Meanwhile, you attack that one. You attack that one. You attack that one. You attack that one. What is he? My, gi the, my giant penguin has, like, just got stuck on everything. <laughs> Okay, all three of these ones here are all stunned. We've got a random new one that's just coming to join the party from Green Village. Oh my goodness. We got we just lost one because the healer is apparently terrible. Okay, I'm probably gonna get rid of the healer in a moment. Is that is that more actually coming in? Yeah it is! There's another one right there! <laughs> Let's have a look then. Green is two out of nine, pink is eight out of nine, brown is still six out of six. How does brown not hate us after we've killed somebody of their um Raiders and thieves. Okay, good. So you're attacking away on that one. That one is taking a fair bit of damage, though. Let's grab you to attack you. These three are still stunned, so I guess that's good. Wait, in fact, I got... These guys are all just stunned as well. Or well, not stunned, more like stuck. God, the AI in this game will never get old. It'll never, ever get old. Did we lose one of our pets? I think we probably did, actually. Well, that's not bad, I guess. Uh, what's going on over here? Is that- wait, I can't actually select that one. Hold on. If I select you- no, that's a corpse. And he's running off. Okay then. <laughs> Something funky's definitely happening here. Let's just select all of you to finish this one off. Oh, and... Is that- is that also dead? Yeah, it's already dead. And then we get the rest of the guys to repair. Get another baby. So, Green is already back on 4 out of 9, Jesus. So actually, that reminds me, I saw Draki suggest an interesting idea. Apparently, if you keep on stealing food from the other tribes, that just slows down their, um, how quickly they reprogress or how quickly they uh, get more members, which I never actually tried before. It makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I've never actually bothered with burglary just because it's, just, I, I don't know, actually, I've not bothered in like so long. 
It's funny just the amount of new things or new things more like old things I'm retrying in its playthrough. But yeah, as I said, you know, like as I said before, you get to a point where you've like played these stages so many times, you know the most efficient routes, you actually tend to forget like all the other ones. So, do they attack back? They probably do, right? Yeah, definitely attacking back, but it just carries on running. Wow. And I guess I could probably just turn around and stun it, couldn't I, with the uh, spider webs. In fact, no, they just keep on running. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Yeah, they actually don't fight back. Oh, that one did. Oi, grab it. Come on, keep going. Got pink village there, like trying to shoot me away. You are randomly stuck. Oi, grab that and go back. And I want all of you to come back to base. Let's go ahead and just set it on egg duty. That way all the remaining ones can come over and uh, drop off their food before selecting more. I think it's safe to say that the healing rods in the end, which is a bit of a bust, it just, did, it just didn't really feel like it was working. I think it might be because the creature hitboxes are so large that they just got stuck on each other constantly. I don't know, but either way, it felt like a bit of a waste. Oh, what's going over here then? Ah, apparently Pink Village defended Green Village. Well, that's rude, and I got two ghosts. And I mean it, they're actually got- wait, hold on. Wait, what's wrong with their heads? The head to sideways. That's kind of weird. Yeah, okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, turns out when my guys die, they die in a very terrifying manner. Alrighty then. Well, we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Right, everyone's on full health, everyone's on nearly full hunger. And turns out Pink Village, my old nemesis, is already only on three out of nine. Although I do see a baby or two in there. But I want to try the theory. I want to try the theory once and for all. First things first, I am actually going to go nick some of their food. That way at least their pockets are empty, right? We're going to nick a bit of their food. We'll do that first. <laughs> Love the music that plays. Okay, good. Now then, now that their food is actually empty, you attack that one, you attack that one, you attack that one, and then everyone else attack the main camp. So that way they are all CC'd, or we just had a fourth one appear. You attack that one. And then all the others will go for it. And let's just see then. Can we keep them all stunned? Oh, that one's not being stunned. Wait, what are you doing, Aiden? Oi. You attack that one. Okay, good. He's stunned. He's stunned. Back onto the main building. We've got one more running around free. We would may as well kill that one. It's on 7 HP. There we go. So now all three from the sea seed. How are you still alive? There we go. <laughs> now, can I just destroy it? Uh, it would appear that when I spam two, it does nothing. Hmm, awkward. Actually, it seems to be doing something. Okay, stun that one. Stun that one. Go back onto the building. It seems to work better when I direct the entire tribe. I have been trying, guys. I've been trying to be better the AI. Speaking of the AI, he's just running on the spot. I have been trying to like actually direct a min-max at all, but the, the game's AI is just so bad. But, you gotta admit though, having all of them with the torches, this is a lot faster than last time when I just spat the building to death. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. That's one of the easiest tribe, de uh, tribe destruction I've seen. You have destroyed the pink village. Your tribe has carved a second totem beast to remember this momentous occasion. The spoils of battle are new tools and outfits. Find them in your tribal planner. <laughs> no, I have everything I need. I have torches. Green village, you are mine. Let's do the same thing again then, shall we? Oh, wild animals. Uh, let me just get like a... A little baby could just defend <laughs> the hut. Let's go ahead then and just steal all the food again. And now we will individually stun everything. Well, not individually, more like we'll just rush them. There you go, that one's stunned. Someone stun that one, please. Someone, perfect. Someone stun the chieftain. Perfect. And then we just go over and uh, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, don't mind us, guys. While you're like all webbed and trapped and everything, let's just go ahead and just burn <laughs> your hut down as well. Oh my God, absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe this works. I can't believe I faffed around for so long trying to get food and uh, healing rods and such and I could have just done this the entire time. Right, let's get you. 
Leave my chieftain alone, bullies. Okay. Uh, my chieftain's probably about to die. You root that one, you root that one. Yep, my chieftain did in fact die, and it's again, for some reason, just st sat there. It's freaky, man. My guys are zombies. Like, whenever they die, they just remain, like, stood and frozen. It's kind of freaky. Okay, we've got a little bit more HP left. We'll just go ahead and focus the building now. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the remainers. And there we go once again! Tribe 3 out of 5, I think? 5 in total? Yeah. And there goes Green Village. There goes the Blue Eyes White Dragons. You have destroyed the Green Village. A third totem piece adorns your tribal totem. The tools and outfits taken from the fallen tribe are now available in your tribal planner. And there we go, we evolve once more. Ah, oh, I like the little leafy building. It suits my happy little majestic looking bloodthirsty demons. Your tribe continues to advance, your heart is upgraded again, and you can now grow your tribe to its maximum potential of 12 tribal members. And my cursor's missing, there it is, fantastic. Right, so over here then, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a whole bunch more food. Meanwhile, back over here, we will grab... Uh, there's no more food to obtain from here, actually. In fact, the little camp or the uh, little burglary thing I had is completely missing. Oh, no, there is a bit more food left. The game lied. It lied. Can I get any more from Pink Village as well? Aha, I can. And we've got the little burglary item over here. We'll just grab that. So we'll just grab all the remaining food then. Meanwhile, my current guy over here, you can grab the eggs get a couple more babies going and uh yeah we may as well find the outfit a little dudes what else do we have in fact we've got gathering canes we've got didgeridoos we've got throwing spears and stone axes we've got everything unlocked and all we need is our trusty flaming torches <laughs> meanwhile outfits yeah we really did get a lot more didn't we not right then in terms of health we could probably get yeah, we've got a plus three one there we've got the masks there we got combat plus three there we didn't get anything new, did we? At least in terms of, you know, useful items. Wait, hello. <laughs> Imagine using dark injection weapons at the tribal stage. Oh, I had that happen to me once, actually. Uh, one time, I had a tribe of creatures that were like modded dark injection creatures spawn, and they one shot. I'm not even kidding. They straight up one shot my uh, my tribal hut. It completely soft locked my game, and ever since then, I've always been a little bit worried about uh, playing modded creations. Because of that, I never wanted to see my tribal heart get one shot by the Captain Galactic Adventures uh, Bladed Claws part. Oh, it was brutal. However, we got a little bit more health, we got a little bit more combat. Our guys are looking goldy and tacky as hell, but it works. It looks good. It looks good. Perfect. Sweet. And we go ahead and hit ourselves with the obligatory save. Always save. Control S. Not an easy saving keybind. That way, you, whenever you, you know, inevitably crash, you don't lose any progress. Oh, trust me, it happens all the time. Right then, everyone's on the way back home. We've got Lavender Village, who is all the way over here. What is Lavender Village then? They are a bunch of dinosaurs. Oh, I like them. They're cool. They're cool looking. And they're admiring their own flaming torches. Right, so guys, here's what I'm thinking then. I need to spend some time to just tidy this all up. Uh, keep on grabbing food from all the other tribes. Get a bunch more food for myself. Get a whole bunch of egg layers on the go. And eventually we'll take over Brown Village. Our Brown Village is down, right? We're definitely going to take over them. But Lavender Village, of whom is all the way over here, the Pyromaniac Dinosaurs. Do we be friends with the Pyromaniac Dinosaurs or do we defeat them? Let me know. Because I think now marks a good and happy ending for the episode. As always, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and also, aesthetic. What kind of theme and vibe should we go for in the Civ stage? What should the buildings and vehicles look like? Hmm. Got a lot of customizing ahead of us. A lot of happy buildy fun times. And until then, we're going to grab all the eggs we can while we wrap up the episode. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And as always, have a wonderful day. Cheers.